Yes and no, because yes in the sense that it's uh, visually stimulating, right? No um, in the sense that it's, it can be seen as defacement of property and things like that. Um, most people just see it and recognize it immediately as being unnecessary or vulgar. Um, it's art. It's, it's like something you'd see on a canvas, except some people don't see it that way. They see it, it's in the wrong place, and, uh, and it shouldn't be there, really. So when most people think of graffiti, they think of uh, vandalism and, you know, people defacing things. Sort of similar to this sign right here. And they don't really think past that or look past what could be, like many of the beautiful works of art on this wall beside me. see too much uh, too much graffiti anywhere. Um, usually when you do it's it's just a scribble or a name on a mailbox or something like that. But nothing uh, nothing really gets left on walls I would say. They're pretty fast at picking that up, yeah. This area is not only known as a beautiful graffiti wall that people can come and do their creative artworks, but it's also a great facility used for basketball. It's a great community place that you find a lot of people hanging out at during the week and uh, on weekends. I was just down here a couple days ago and I ran into this guy, Mikey, he went by. He was doing up some art on this wall and uh, I decided to ask him a few questions, just see, you know, how he got into the whole graffiti scene and stuff like that. And, well, he told me it starts like any other addiction. You just, you know, you start small, you start writing your name here and there on maybe a mailbox or uh, an overpass or something like that. And, uh, and you get a rush every time, you get that thrill every time you walk by it, every time you drive by it. Anytime you go by it with friends or something like that, you point it out, you say, hey, that's my work. You notice your name, you recognize that, and that gets addicting. You get addicted to it, and you keep going, and you want to go bigger, and you want to make it more creative, and you want to do more color, and things like that. Well, addicting usually means um, when you have a certain interest or hobby, uh, you can get addicted to it. Um, Usually, that means it's the first thing that you think about when you wake up in the morning. It's usually when uh, you give it a higher priority than other things in your life, you become addicted to it, which isn't really a good thing. I think that's why some people see it as defacement. They think, you know, if, if you have time to be scribbling art on a wall, you could be doing something else with your life. You could be, you know, spending, spending your time a lot better than you are. So, Mikey was also telling me that, really, you don't start fresh with any of these things. You just start painting over top of whatever someone did before you. And that leads to a lot of things like, you know, do you get inspiration from the one that was underneath it? Do you scrap it completely? It was ugly and you want to do something better. You know, it kind of leads to this little competition that, you know, you go over top of someone else's work, they may come back next week and go over your own work. I don't watch out of right rhymes Time to turn this new dark age into bright times Won't be out on in the cage to go fight crimes I just want my words heard, hit it with light minds When I want to light mine, I light up them right times Import herb and my Dutch feel like high times Constant progression, the evolution of my grind Even rednecks know the MCC's a flex, so here's your sign If I could chase the world, which is one of these tracks